All right, hello everyone. So in this midterm project, I'm gonna show you the uh, some of the main point in order to create your uh, midterm project and uh, also uh, what is the command or syntax you need to use in order to uh, complete it. Right. So in the midterm project, basically you will write a, a program to collect the information of two students okay uh, the information including the first name the last name student ID uh, date uh, date of birth uh, class count and uh, graduation date okay so that's kind of for both of the students once you collect the student uh, you will uh, display the information uh, based on the uh, we call a data grid so data, data grid basically that kept a form of the table uh, with the header of the um, uh, information you gonna display for example the first name the last name the uh, date of birth and so on and below that the um, header information basically you display the information of each student okay all right uh, so how how can we uh, I do that in the uh, C sharp. So basically, the first step you can declare the variables. The variables because we collect the information of two students. So uh, here, the simplest way I'm gonna show you declare the set of the variables for both the students. Uh, so the student need to have the first name and the last name uh, for student one and student two. Uh, we also have the uh, so this is gonna be string type. The student ID gonna be a for student one and student two. That gonna be integer type. Uh, we have the date of birth gonna date type, uh, date time type. Uh, we have a uh, int uh, teacher type for class count and so the graduation. Graduation right here. Uh, we collect only the year, so we consider as the integer. Okay. Right. Um, so as the uh, last week assignment, we also use some kind of temporary variables in order to collect the information uh, from the keyboard, and then we convert it into a, a correct type of the data. So for example, student ID right here, uh, we uh, will collect from the keyboard, but that's gonna be string. So we temporarily uh, really, uh, store in the uh, student ID string type, and then we gonna convert into the integer type because the uh, student ID right here gonna be integer type. The same for the date of birth. Uh, the enter data gonna be string, and then we convert into a date time uh, type. Uh, class count the same that gonna be string and then we convert into a uh, integer gradation uh, we also convert from string to integer uh, uh, type right so that the uh, variable declaration uh, the first uh, the next step we're gonna uh, going to collect the information of the students so um, when we run into the program um, the user needs to uh, know uh, uh, which information they need to enter. So basically, the first one we're gonna collect information of student one. So we're gonna display this one uh, on the console. Gonna be enter information for student one. So now the user knowing that that's gonna be enter information for student one. Now um, next one, uh, the user need to know what information they need to enter. So this one right here gonna say that enter the first name. So the second command right here. So basically, when the user enter the first name. This command right here can collect that data and assign to the first name of the student one right here. Okay, it's pretty similar to the previous assignment we have. Uh, next, we need to collect the last name of student one. So we're gonna using the same syntax right here. Uh, write out enter the last name. So the user knowing that now they need to enter the last name for student one. And once they enter. Uh, the the system gonna collect that information and assign for the last name of the student one. Uh, here a little bit uh, uh, more step because we're gonna collect the student ID that's the integer type. So this one right here basically display the information uh, so the user know what information to enter that's the student ID and the student ID have been entered uh, gonna be collected into string, string student ID. 
Uh, this one got temporary uh, variable we declare right here in this string type and then we're gonna do one more step convert from string type to integer type right here um, similarly to the date birth we collect the data from the keyboard the string type and then we convert this one into the date uh, time uh, type for the date birth student one uh, the uh, class the class tile uh, and also the um, graduation uh, could be integer type so we basically convert from the string using two integer with the 16 uh, bits uh, to the class count and the same for graduation All right so this this is the step right here the step right here we have basically a uh, um, collect collect the info oh, sorry the step right here basically a uh, collect the information for student one so um you can uh, repeat the same um now you need to change the variable right here because you collect the information for student two down here so basically you can copy this part right here and put down here and change this one uh, right here for example uh first name instead of one now it's gonna be two because you collect information of student two okay the same uh for the other variable right here so uh, this one right here gonna be a uh, birth date the two because you collect the information of the student two class card right here graduation card right here the same right so once you collect the information of two students uh, the next one you gonna display the information in term of a we call data grid so data grid is nothing more just using the console right line right here so basically you need to display in term of the table uh, format the first command right here uh, you can display the first name, last name, date of birth, student ID, class count, and year. Uh, this one right here basically is just the placeholder. Uh, the uh, position number zero, that's going to be displayed the first name. Number one right here, uh, they, they started the index zero. So the first one right here can be the first name. The second one right here can be last name. The third one can be date of birth. The uh, third one right here can be student ID. This one right here could be class count, and the last one right here could be the year of the graduation. Okay, the uh, number right here could be using to specify how many uh, blank space in order to store the info or to display the information in the first name. Uh, so basically, it's gonna be fifteen uh, blank space, uh, and so on right here. So we can adjust accordingly uh, depend on the size of the information right here we want to display. Okay, how long how long the string you want to display? So next one right here, basically you uh, separate from the header of the table uh, with the data you display right here. So basically this one you display this string right here. Uh, so the first one you display the information of student number one. So this one right here, that's a variable of the first name we collect over here, um, and uh, we have the first name of student number one. So we're gonna want to display this over here. Uh, over here, so that corresponding with this column right here. Okay, the last name gonna be in the second position, the birth date right here, and now we have the string tag. We're gonna convert it back into the birth date, uh, so we can display it. Uh, the the birth date gonna be the date time type, and now we convert it to string tag in order to display the grid. And student ID, uh, class count, and graduation. That's the integer, so we can display. Uh, uh, into the grid without a, any problem. Uh, you, you can do the casting or convert into the string, but in this case, we, we don't need to do so. Right, so uh, let me run this one. I save it and let me run this one to see uh, what the, the output is going to look like. So I can enter my name, uh, my last name, my ID. So this one basically I can make it up and uh, you can make up the in, in information student as well. Uh, in order to uh, run the program, you don't need the actual um, ID uh, for the student you are collecting. 2018, uh, January 20. Uh, the uh, class count is going to be a, uh, let's say 20. In 2019, I can write it. Right? So once I enter this one, I can display the information, the first one right here. That's my first name, my last name, my date of birth, student ID, class count, and year graduation right here. So um, 
because um, my, my program I just only collect information of uh, one student so that's why we see only one now if you uh, see more you can uh, I put another uh, uh, part of this uh, code right here down here to collect information student number two and then you need to using basically the same syntax right here uh, uh, copy down here but change the name right here to display the informing student number two okay after that uh, I think the, uh, the data grid gonna uh, display the information of both student number one and number two you collected up here um, okay I did not go into a detail of the uh, uh, complete uh, project but I think the syntax right here and so the structure gonna help you to complete it so um, follow the step uh, create the own code uh, run it and also uh, copy the code uh, screen um, and sort of the code and also the um, output of the program um, put into the report and um, upload the .cs file along with the report to the to the Dropbox for the uh, midterm project alright I think that's all for this video and I hope that's help and uh, let me know if you have any question? All right, thank you. See you guys in the next video.